Welcome back to Rocket Grunt. Is that oh, one of Alright, why a Rattata? We've seen too many Rattatas. <laughs> they gotta just resort to the crappy Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing too is that there are like some Pokemon that we will just never see. Yeah. Actually, I think just one. So, because we chose Charizard, we will never see a Venusaur during the course of the game. There's no way for us to see it. Oh, really? The only Venusaur that we can find is on like, like, fifth floor of the Trainer Tower in the post game. That's like, end of the post game. So, I guess maybe I, I can do that, but... I mean, would you really want to? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Honestly, no. Surprise. This is the 100% Let's Play, although it probably will turn into one, to be honest, because I love this game. So This is going to be our longest series, folks. What this is, is our world? longest series so far? I don't know, Maybe because Byron here's the thing. Or something? Here's not... the thing. Currently, as of, like, before our hiatus, it was Leaf Green. However... We recorded a bunch of Life is Strange that have been uploaded oh, yeah. yet, so Life that might strange. be the longest. However, after this, this is back to being the longest. Leaf Green is going to hold its crown. But yeah, Leaf Green and, um, and... The crazy thing about Leaf Green is that unlike Life is Strange, which is already like 60% done the series, this one it would be 20% done if we do the post-game. 15 maybe? 20%? It's, it's crazy. Really? Yeah, How do you 100% complete unless... Oh, you have to catch all the Well, I, I mean, right, we'll, we'll, we'll do... We don't have to complete the Pokedex, but oh, I, really? I want to do the post-game stuff. Like, I want to go to the Sevi Islands, because I've never gotten... Okay, so the Sevi Islands? The first three? Yes, yeah. Remember Sevi's. middle school? Yeah, man. The <laughs> Sevi, man. Hey, look at the Sevi, I, I was rereading uh, the script from the Black Facade. Oh my and god. I, yeah, and I had you, you call one of... I had the character named after you call... One of the fresh, oh, one of the seventh graders, the seventh. Oh my like, god! Oh my god, dude, this is such a. That was like the most annoying thing. That whole ever. script oh. was such a time capsule it of was. eighth grade us, and so it's pretty great. As, maybe as much as I hated middle school, I think that was like some of my favorite moments. Just I might coming make up it with public everything. if I can find the Black Front script. I might make it public. That was. I so only weird. finished the first two movies. I never got to the third. So viewers, to catch you up, unless you are like Ravi. Because I don't think that, uh, any other ones of our viewers would talking about Ref? He's right here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. He, he's just... He's asleep. Yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> he's been asleep this whole time, in Twitter alert. Um, back in middle school, Rafi, Dylan, uh, and I, and well, as well as, as another friend, uh, the four of us, we we wrote a script, mainly me, but... You're good at writing scripts. I mean, let's be honest. It was you me. Have, you have quite the imagination. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um... And that was crazy, but like, it was a movie set in, in the middle school where we had to fight off these cloaked figures called cloaks. And it was crazy. Cloaked figures called cloaks. Most of our friends uh, died. Oh no. The, the sequel focused on Dylan Raffi and a couple others. Um, I, I died in the first one, and I came back at, at the end of the second, and as a main character in the third. Oh jeez. I, I only wrote the first two films. The third one I got to like the beginning. Like focusing on like the government finding out about the cloaks. Oh, the, the government the always. Black has to be aura, involved. man. The black aura. So the, that's what the third one was. So it's called the Black Cloak trilogy. But yeah, each yeah, movie yeah, the Cloak trilogy. Like, first one was the Black Front. Front. Second was the Black Facade. Oh yeah. They were like a front organization in that one. The third one was 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 Black Aura, and uh, just because that was a word. That was a cool word. We had to choose aura. Yeah, it is a cool word. It is. But mm. that was. It was, it was fun. The government is behind all the cloak people. The government wasn't kids. behind it. The government uh, was just in, ineffective and not Don't you helpful. know, Ben? The government's, like, just in, in control of everything. I think the Russian government was behind the cloaks, though. Oh, yeah. I think I said that. Oh, my God. I don't know. It was 2011, guys. It was a different time. It's already been, like, six years since then. It's hilarious. <laughs> How much time's gone by. So, we're just kind of like pushing through this place because I'm still over level. Uh, except for my Voltorb. Except for Dragon Ball. Everyone's over leveled yeah, at this if point. You, if you keep um, grinding through all these areas, you're Pokemon but, just I mean, I have hard. to though. Like, it's yeah. all required. I mean, it's maybe right. not all of these trainers are, but it's pretty much required. Yeah. Right, do I have to talk to this guy again? 
No. I thought someone here had the password. Okay. Take the elevator to see my boss. Can I do that now? Password is password. I think I can. <clears throat> I think I'm done. I think I have to go fight Giovanni. Oh, we need the key. Oh my god. Where are you gonna oh, get fuck? that? I don't know. Oh my god. No, not this. Oh. I think it's the other one. We never went... Oh, we, we never went further down. I'll get fucking ready, Dylan. This is the real one. This is Already the real ready. one. This is the frustrating one. I'm still ready. Next time in Rebel Gaming. Shortest video we ever made. Five minutes. <laughs> he keeps saying next time. It's just been like four or five minutes. Yeah. Oh my god, we should do what like Game Grumps did during, uh, during Punch Out. They had like a like, six minute video and the face oh, yeah. like blew up. It was like one of the most disliked videos on the channel. I don't remember that. So one. funny. We can watch it later. All right. Did they like do that on accident? Like, oh no, accident. no, it was on. Purpose. <laughs> really? Yeah, but it wasn't as a joke. Though. It was just like, all right, well, we're 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 done with this, boss. So, might as well. Oh god. The thing about like punch out is like the whole game is just like boss fights. Yeah. Like like there there's no like grinding. There's, or, that's true. Like smaller guys in between. It's just boss fights. Cool, I guess. But. That's a fun game, though. Punch Out. It is. For the it week. is a fun game. It's a really charming game. It gets it has a lot of shit. Though. It does. I could never do it. I remember the farthest I've gotten was fighting uh, Sandman or whatever, Mr. Dream or whatever his name is. Yeah, Mr. Dream. Mr. Dream. I could never get that fun. It's hard. Go right. to sleep. Or something. This wasn't my ideal choice for this, but I mean, I don't. Oh, you know what? Would it? Okay. I probably should have used Mimi, but that's okay. Mimi is our level, anyways. It's because he was traded. And, and traded Pokemon level up faster, actually. Oh, frustration. We're never going to use frustration. Frustration is a move that's stronger if the Pokemon hate you. And all of our Pokemon, I assume, like us pretty well. It's gonna be that bad, man. Can't it? Oh, we need to get out of here first. And then go this way. There you go. See, it wasn't that bad. Let's see here. We want to want that one. This one. Very good. Oh, this one's actually easier oh than God, the other one. See? <laughs> oh, oh, the other one wasn't required. This one was required. So oh. we actually did the hard one first. All right, never mind. This is not as bad as I remembered when I was younger. It really wasn't. Because the easy part is just you have to plan ahead of what you're gonna. You just look at where the arrows lead to. Yeah. Plan ahead. It's all right, man. It's all oh, right. Oh yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. Dragon Ball is definitely catching up now to the squad. Like, like everyone else is like in their like high. Like low 30s, or really like 30. Dragon Ball's 28. Right, let's use Mimian. Or like Suicide one we Hotline's only 10. Yeah, yeah, that's not really one of the right team rates. We're gonna drop her really soon, actually. Really? Oh no. One, once we have our 16 member, which won't be this session, I don't think. We will, though, soon enough. That'll be nice. Mimian. We'll finally have a Pokemon of, of that type. We don't really have coverage. Why, of that type. why did you name him Mimian? Or I didn't. Mimian? It was the. Uh, because it's a traded Pokemon, it already uh, had a nickname, and we can't change it, so... Every single Mr. Mime in this game is Mimian. Okay. Same with the red and blue. Because it's not one that you can fight in the wild. The, the only Mr. Mime in the entire game is one from a trade. That's stupid. Yeah. But... Magical Leaf. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Mr. Mime Mr. is Mime. too... Okay. He's at all right. He's too high of a level, so he, he won't obey us anymore. That's crazy. Is that crazy. what happens? Yeah. I don't even know that happened. Oh my god, we need he's to beat the next 31. gym. We need to beat the next. That's crazy. I've never had that happen before. Level thirty-one, not even that high. Oh my god. No, it's not. I guess we need to go beat the fourth gym then, huh? Well, luckily for us, once we beat Giovanni, that's my next goal. So and then Mr. Mine will obey us. <laughs> That's great. He's just gonna fall back a little bit. Yeah. I could have sworn he he should be able to. That's weird. I'm so sorry. Is level 31 that cutoff then? Look at that monster. 
He's not gonna obey any of my fucking okay. stupid ass Mr. Mime. Uh, excuse uh, me, his name is Vivian. Yeah, let's heal Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z! Dragon Ball Dab! No. Stop. You gotta power up by dabbing! Dead me. No. That's not a dead me, man. Everyone keeps using it. My glasses! Oh, I just, like, you found my glasses! Only, only the normies use oh, that the normies. meme. Fuck the normies. They ruin me. They ruin all me. Oh, nice. Max Ether. Max Ether, I think, recovers all Max of our PP. Ether! Oh, Snatch. We we just got the Snatch. Oh, no. Here we go. Who has oh, the lift yeah, key? Who has the lift key? Oh. He has the lift key. Oh. What's your name, sir? Grunt. They're all named Grunt. My name is Grunt. We. Dude, okay, so I was watching Parks and Rec. And uh, Andy, who's played by Chris Pratt, yes. said that, uh, what, what did he say exactly? You would make me the happiest guy in the galaxy if I just started laughing. It's just, of course. If only he knew. Alright. Uh, so, we're fighting coughing as a subweb. Subweb will always obey us, by the way, because we caught it ourselves. So, she trusts us. Yay! There's I think that's how that works. One more. She loves us. Chris Fat. Just kidding. Not anymore. I don't know. He never was though. I guess. Yeah. Like oh, normal yeah. size. He was never fat. I don't think. <clears throat> Overweight. Pleasantly plump. Whatever works. <laughs> Pleasantly plump. <laughs> that's my favorite though. Oh no! I. Just <laughs> I love that. It's like one of my, it's like one of the like famous quotes and, in this game. And he doesn't even oh, try no! to take it back. Oh no! I dropped the lift key. All right, there's Giovanni. Let's see if we can see him. There he oh is. Oh my God! It's so stupid. An Italian stereotype. It's a me. No, he's not an Italian stereotype. He's just a mobster with an Italian name. That's a stereotype, though. I just. I'll have to voice him. Are we ready? Do we need to heal first. Probably not. Oh, we do need to go through this again, though, by the way. We already did it, so it's easy. Yeah, this is definitely the harder one. Yeah, he is. There you go, we did it. <gasps> we is the Italian. Oh, All right. No, all right, time to use a freaking key on an elevator. Wait, what? No. What's a press for? Is that just like a different? It's over here. Oh Let's no. Let's fight this guy. <coughs> Little mouse. Oh, maybe maybe there's an item back here. I don't know. I know Giovanni's at the fourth floor. Oh, we'll we'll just do this and then call it a wrap hey, for the video. Uh, Reminds me of that. Purple guy from McDonald's. I think I've already mistake. mentioned this so. though. Yeah, yeah, Grimace. Grimace. Oh my god, those characters are creepy. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. Mickey D's, boys. Mickey D's. Mickey D's nuts? McRibs. Oh my god. <laughs> Mickey D's nuts. Oh no, <laughs> stop it. We don't need Mickey D's There's nuts. There's our episode title right there. Are you talking about the Mickey Mouse or are you talking about McDonald's? But probably, Mickey Ron, D's. probably Ronald McDonald's nuts. Oh my god. Oh, I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm nuts. These, these are my nuts. God, have, have you ever seen like the like original Ronald McDonald from like the 60s? In the commercial, he said like, think I like I'm not a stranger because I because I like all the things little boys and girls like. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> That is not even subtle, dude. I'm not a stranger. I like candy like you guys. I'm not a stranger. I'm Ronald McDonald. I like all the things kids like, uh, boys and girls like. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so crazy. And he looks so weird, too. All right, next time on Rebel Game. All right, next Ben. Time. Uh, ben, you are the, are the editor and the star. Next time we'll look at Ronald McDonald uh, from yeah. the 60s. Next time we will pull that up, I guess. 
Bye, guys. See ya.